So I'm sure that by now you've already heard about this new framework called Bun. Essentially, Bun is nothing more than a framework just like Node that lets us write JavaScript on the server side. And one of the very cool things about Bun is that according to their website, it's extremely fast. In fact, according to their website's benchmark that they have displayed, it seems to be more than twice as fast as both Node and Dino. Now, one other very cool thing that Bun has is the fact that it lets you use any one of your favorite NPM modules just like you would use them in Node. So for example, if let's say you're typically used to building your Node applications using Express, you can do that exact same thing in your Bun applications. Now, this got me thinking, if Bun is so super fast, and lets me use any one of my favorite NPM modules, what if I actually just built my application the exact same way? So for example, if I typically use Express to build out my applications, I'll do that exact same thing, but instead of using Node, I'm gonna swap out Bun. Will I gain a performance increase by doing that? So what I wanna do in this video is find out exactly that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna build a, an Express application using Node, another Express application using Bun, and then we're gonna benchmark the two of them and see which one is in fact faster and see if Bun really is as fast as their website says it is to be. Okay, so step one now, in my terminal, I'm going to go ahead and make a new node project. Okay, so now I've made a new folder called testing node. So now I'm in my new testing node folder, I'm going to go ahead and run the command npm init dash y, this is going to go ahead and give me a package JSON with all the sort of default values for the package JSON. So now that I have my node project initiated and I have my package JSON, I'm now going to go ahead and install express. Okay, express is installed, let's open this project in our VS code editor. Okay, so now I'm in my VS code, I've got a new file called server.js. And in this file, I'm going to go ahead and build a very, very simple node express application. So here is my very simple express application, you can see that I'm importing express, creating an app instance by actually calling the express function call, I'm going to go ahead and uh, listen on port 1337. And then a very simple endpoint, which when you make a get request to this endpoint, you're going to get a response that says coding with Chaim. Okay, so now I have my node express application running, as you can see, it's running on port 1337. Now in another terminal tab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a tool called OHA to run my benchmarks against this Node Express tool. OHA is a very simple tool to install. I'll leave a link to it down in the description box below, but let me quickly show you how we use it. So basically, you can see that I'm calling upon the OHA tool. I'm telling it to make its requests to localhost 1337, and I'm telling it that I wanted to do 100,000 requests against that endpoint. So OHA is now done running all of its requests against our server. The number that we're mostly interested in though is going to be this number right over here. We see that it was able to handle, our Node Express server was able to handle a little over 11,000 requests per second. Now, of course, this number doesn't mean anything until we don't see how it compares to our bun application. Let's go build a simple bun express application, run the same OHA tool against it and then get the numbers to compare. Okay, so I've now created a new folder called testing bun. The first thing now that we need to do is initiate this and turn this into a bun project. So how do we do that? Well, just like in node, you can do npm init with bun, you can do bun init. Okay, so having run the init command to initiate our application, our bun application, I'm now ready to install express. Now in node, I was able to use npm to install express in bun, I can just use bun to install express. Because bun actually supports TypeScript right out of the box, I'm actually going to be using TypeScript here as well. So I'm going to install express and as well as the types for express. Okay, so our dependencies are now done installing, let's open this up in our VS Code editor and start building out our very simple Simple Express application. Okay, so now in the index.ts file that was created for us by the bun init command, I've gone ahead and built out a very simple Express application. And this one should look pretty much identical to the one that we had in the node project. The only difference here is I'm using import instead of require because here I'm actually using TypeScript, which means import is available to me. But other than that, it's exactly the same. This is bun, that's node. So let's run the OHA tool now against our bun application and see how we do. So back in the terminal now, we're going to be using the bun run command to start up our bun express server. Okay, so now the server is running on port 1337. Let's go back to OHA and fire off 100,000 requests against our bun server. So the OHA tool is done firing off all of the 100,000 requests against our server. And once again, the number that we're really interested in is going to be this requests per second here. And as you can see with bun, we're actually able to handle more than 21,000 requests per second. If you compare that to the just over 11,000 requests a second that we got with node, it turns out bun is in fact twice as fast as our node express application. So for me personally, I'm thinking that maybe for my next kind of side project that I'm going to be building, I may just use bun just like I would node. In other words, whatever application tools I typically like to use, whether that's Express, along with Prisma and JSON Web Token, all the different libraries that I like to use, I'll do and use them exactly the same way as I would in my Node application, but I'm just gonna use Bun instead. And what I'm gonna get is pretty much two things right out of the box. One of them is tremendous performance, and the second thing is TypeScript available to me right out of the box. So that does it for this video, hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna watch more videos like this one, I've got an entire playlist all about Node, and you can find that playlist somewhere right over here.